why do i need favor in my life why is favor or why should favor be such an important necessity the first reason is that destiny fulfillment and to produce result in this earth you don't have all the time destiny fulfillment is time dependent that means if time is against you john chapter 9 and verse 4 is god speaking to someone john 9 and verse 4 let's hurry up john chapter 9 and verse 4 jesus is speaking now john 9 and 4 hallelujah do we have it projected he said i must walk the walks of him that sent me while it is day jesus is speaking he says for the night cometh in other words fulfilling my destiny is time dependent i do not have all the time if i do not maximize time a time will come i may not be able to fulfill destiny that means if for any reason you were designed to live say 100 years and you get born again at age 40 from a spiritual standpoint you wasted 40 years 40 years is already against you are we together now you will need a system introduced to your life that can remedy for that 40 years destiny actualization is time dependent ecclesiastes chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2 popular scripture ecclesiastes 12 1 and 2 it says remember now your creator in the days of your youth before the difficult days come and the years draw near when you say i have no pleasure in them verse 2 it says while the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are not darkened and the clouds do not return after the rain do you know what he's saying he's saying remember your creator maximize your life when all of those elements are supporting you because a time will come they will not always support you if you want to dry your clothes and have it dried very fast you take an advantage of a provision already called the sun is that true when the sun is shining brightest you come quickly if you need water in your buckets you take advantage of the rain you don't necessarily create it you just discern and take advantage of them when they come there is what we call in this side of the world rainy season and dry season a good farmer is also one who understands the seasons you need to understand that destiny fulfillment and getting results are time dependent number two you need to understand that destiny fulfillment and getting results are also men dependent psalms 115 and verse 16 what does that mean to obtain results and to actualize your destiny you will need men this is the world of men it says the heaven even the heavens are the lord's but the earth has he given to the children of men that means if anything must happen in this side of god's kingdom you cannot do it in isolation with the uh, uh, cooperation of a man are we learning now fulfilling your destiny and producing results in this kingdom is men dependent that means just like i think it was it was pastor jerry who was sharing not too long and he said it's possible for someone to not like you you know that ordinarily unassisted you are in trouble what if that man is a gatekeeper gatekeepers are people you cannot cast away you don't cast them away because they control systems and structures the only way you the only thing you can do with them is god will give you favor with them when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes those kinds of enemies to be at peace with you they are not the ones you cast because they are gatekeepers how do you cast pharaoh out of egypt when god wants to help you come out of that prison he will make pharaoh like you but to pray that pharaoh will leave egypt is not a wise prayer because egypt belongs to him is under his influence are you learning now 
destiny fulfillment is man dependent number three the third fact you need to know that necessitates studying the subject of favor is that the whole world lies in wickedness under the siege of satan the whole world lies in wickedness first john 5 19 very quickly first john 5 19 shalakos kebriandakata it says we know that we are of god and the whole world is under the sway of the wicked one that's nkjv if i can have king james i'll be fine it says the whole world lieth in wickedness the whole world means everywhere including your neighborhood including the nation you seek to go to the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness that means there is no physical place of escape that exempts you from the possibility of wickedness provided you are alive there must then be a divine factor that immunes you above and against this reality hmm. first peter chapter 5 and verse 8 apostle peter is teaching us now first peter 5 8 he says be sober be vigilant be sober and be vigilant he says because your adversary the devil is as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour so this these are facts they let you know that satan is not sitting idle he's not in one place he's roaming around looking for any destiny that looks like christ so that you will waste it and that includes yours are we together the revelation of favor is built upon these realities that number one let me recap again the first basis for desiring favor is that to fulfill your destiny you need to sustain the ability to have dominion over time because destiny is time dependent then destiny fulfillment is also man dependent if you have time and no man can help you within that time you will still waste destiny and then if you have time and you have men and the realm of the spirit satan who is the adversary comes he can still make you destroy destiny please believe what i'm teaching you i know what i'm saying what then is favor what is favor to be favored means to be given unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access please write it down to be favored means to be given unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access that is what it means to be favored if these three things are not captured in your life you are not favored maybe you have breakthrough unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access these are the tripartite scriptural proof of favor in the life of a man so when you say i am favored we don't need to argue prophetically yes but in experience we will vet you from the lens of unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access this is what god is doing in the life of someone pastor jerry prophesied so lavishly from the depth of his heart let me join my faith with him and your your man of god to declare over you these three things in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god from tonight that grace that makes for unusual kindness receive it right now unusual acceptance receive it right now unusual access receive it right now please sit down hallelujah immediately you know the definition of this favor are we together aha uh -huh. you can know that this favor is at work in my life by also having unusual 
an unusual dimension of rejection an unusual dimension of closed doors empty-handedness these are biblical indices so that this teaching now leaves us in two categories you can know without confusion whether favor is working in your life in experience or otherwise favor unusual kindness is there any man in the house of saul that i may show him kindness for jonathan's sake unusual acceptance how do you promote joseph who is in egypt knowing he's not an egyptian he said i am pharaoh and only by my word only in the throne will you be second to me immediately blessed him gave him all kinds of things unusual access access to anything that reaches the heart of people when it was time for nehemiah to build he went and met a king and the king not only approved but he gave him the resources unusual access for someone in the name of jesus after tonight it will be as if you are dreaming you will find out that in a very strange way hear me you may have heard me teach that everything you are looking for is also looking for you but not this version of you mm -mm. it will keep passing this version of you and is still finding another version of you may that version of you emerge tonight please sit down unusual kindness unusual acceptance and unusual access jesus who grew in favor himself luke 2 and 52 the bible says and jesus increased in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men he proved the validity of favor in his life by asking someone to go to a road where the streets divide he says you will see a colt that no man had ridden on that means there are people carrying things they've not been permitted to enjoy it because they are keeping it for certain people a colt that no man including the owner had not ridden on it yet he was taking care of it he said lose that coat and bring it and if anyone should ask you tell them it's not that i'm a thief the master had need of it I am the real owner of that you are only a caretaker keeping it that means there are people holding things you have even seen some of them but it's not for them they don't know why they cannot enjoy it and yet they take care of it because they are waiting a mantle that must come upon your head so that they release it to you and in the name of jesus i prophesy by the power that raised christ from the dead whatever must come upon your head to make what is yours to come to you let it come right now in the name of jesus please sit down hallelujah genesis chapter 39 is god speaking to us hmm. genesis 39 1 to 4 let's hurry up so that we can redeem time the bible says and, Je and joseph was brought down to egypt and potiphar the officer of pharaoh captain of the guard the egyptian brought him of the hands of ishmaelites and they brought him down tether we're reading to verse 4 please it says and the lord was with joseph is that in your bible it says and he was a prosperous man he was in the house of his master the egyptians three and four and his master saw that the lord was with him and the lord had made all that he did to prosper in his hands verse four and joseph found grace in his sight and he served him and he made him overseer over his house and he that had put his hands listen anywhere you see favor check it by the indices i've given you unusual kindness unusual acceptance unusual access here you see it in the life of Je of joseph exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 popular scripture and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass 321 that as ye go 
ye shall not go empty emptiness has a spiritual explanation when you see a man's hand empty you have the hands to receive yet nothing is coming on it there is an explanation lack of kindness lack of acceptance lack of access please don't forget this teaching tonight burn it into your spirit kindness acceptance and access Ezra chapter 7 and verse 6. Ezra chapter 7 and verse 6. Ezra chapter 7. And Ezra went up from Babylon, and he was a ready scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. The Bible says, and the king granted all his requests. How many? Do you still see the formula again? unusual kindness unusual acceptance unusual what i'm teaching you is a revelation that the spirit of god gave me on favor the king granted him all his request but the request was according to the hand of the lord upon him not according to what the king wanted there was something on him that was making the king answer everything he said read it carefully the request was granted according to the hand of the lord upon him if that hand lifted the king would say you are crazy what did i say yesterday i've changed my mind ah may something come on you i repeat again in the name of jesus the son of the living god the world is too wicked for you to indefinitely have unusual kindness too wicked for you to indefinitely have unusual acceptance too wicked for you to have unusual access men are not even that emotionally stable to give you the guarantee that every day you come there has to be a factor that is greater than emotions that will compel men regardless their vacillations to give you the same result it's called favor now listen very carefully i want to lovingly make a bit of adjustment for a long time in the body of christ we have taught that the only scope and dimension of favor in its definition is unmerited access and that is not wrong are we together but to to say favor is unmerited um it is not exactly right the moment you say favor is unmerited it takes away the responsibility dimension from you i can tell you favor is merited are we together the only dimension and expression of favor that is unmerited is favor that is um that is captured in the redemption of man and that is in that we could not die for ourselves but even at that there is still a responsibility to receive are we together now let me show you the secret of favor proverbs 13 15 you're going to read it loud from the depth of your spirit are you ready it's projected if you're a christian and you believe the bible please read it very loud ready one to read uh-huh one more time Shout the first two words, please. One to go. One, one more time. The last time. That means there is bad understanding. Bad understanding is understanding that leads to the outcome you did not desire. Bad understanding. The Bible says good understanding give it favor like you say a woman gave birth to a child is that true so now in this example good understanding and transgression are like two pregnant women please look up that good understanding is like a pregnant woman when she gives birth to a child the name of that child is favor transgression is also a pregnant woman when she gives birth to a child the name of the child is called hardship hardship is a child don't blame the child the mother gave birth to the child 
when your life is hard don't blame the child called hardship blame the mother that keeps giving birth to that child theoretically speaking every woman should be able to give birth to as many children is that true don't joke with that woman who gives birth to hardship she is very fruitful there is no barrenness with transgression you put a seed there your child is coming unfortunately this child does not wait for nine months it can come in one day mm. good understanding like a pregnant woman gives birth and when you come you name you come and meet the child already named you are not the one who names the child that naming ceremony comes directly from heaven the child has been named before arrival and a good understanding is such a fruitful woman she can give birth every day in fact you know it is favor if it happens more than once if it happens only once it is breakthrough not favor the proof of favor is the ability to make it repetitive regardless the surrounding conditions yes sir from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed Adonai From the rising of the sun To the setting of the same Your name is to be hallowed Please sit down My apologies, I may not have the time to deal with this in details so I'll just touch one or two things and then we'll pray so that we can retreat for the night. But do not forget what I've taught you. Favor, if it is favor, these tripartite realities must be captured in it. Unusual kindness, unusual acceptance, unusual... Because we are going to pray this this night. If you have unusual kindness alone, it's not favor. Uh -uh. if you have unusual acceptance alone it is not favor i can accept you and never bless you if you have unusual access alone you will remain a caretaker access to things you can never possess unusual kindness unusual acceptance ah somebody came to church tonight to learn something that you will carry and write this date and say i found the key after 20 years you come and meet pastor and say sir i came for this conference recharge and i found an authoritative scriptural definition of favor unusual kindness unusual acceptance unusual so next time you say a man is favored don't be in a hurry to say so check do you find unusual repetitive kindness repetitive acceptance repetitive access you will be learning that the greatest access is not access to resources is access to the hearts of kings hmm. can i tell you the truth it is easier to open a treasury than to open the heart of a king whatever can make the heart of a king be open towards you is greater than the safe in a bank as we conclude this powerful sermon remember the word of god is a light unto our path and a lamp unto our feet embrace it leave it and let it guide you in every step may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all. Go forth in his power and live victoriously. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to Heavenly Chant for more anointed messages and spiritual nourishment. Stay blessed and see you next time.